kind of showing them, you know, other things that they can do outside of just the everyday nine to five. And I know that you taught that <laughs> while you was a professor. So you got any 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 words to our kids about the entrepreneurship space? Yeah, man. Uh, so Tim, I really appreciate you inviting me to speak to uh, uh, your students. What's up, everybody? I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person. I'm right now in Nashville, Tennessee, but I really wanted to make sure I leave you with a message. Man, entrepreneurship is big right now, as you know. Everybody wants to work for themselves, and that's cool, but you really gotta have a business plan. You really have to understand, you know, uh, understand your money. That means you gotta really pay attention to math class because you don't want somebody else counting your money. You wanna be able to count your own money. You gotta be able to market, you gotta be able to build a brand, and you gotta be able to build a team. And you got to have a good reputation. Um, and so for me, like you have to be very careful about how you move out here in these streets. You got to be careful about how you move in school because, you know, your reputation is going to follow you and people are going to make a decision about who you are as an entrepreneur based on who you are as an individual, as a person. So character is important. People don't want to do business with people that don't have good character. So pay attention to your character, pay attention to your circle and pay attention to your money. Cool, perfect, perfect. And uh, another two other things we talked, we, we 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 touched on that I just like to get a word from you on. Uh, one of the other things were relationships, developing good relationships and, sustain, and sustaining them. Uh, the big thing we talked about, we had people come on and they talk about um, how sustaining good relationships helped them get to where they needed to be in life. Mm -hmm. So uh, is that a big role in your success as well? Uh, man, relationships is everything, man. Like, you got to have a good network. You you know, there, there's a saying that says your network determines your net worth. I say that again. Your network determines your net worth. So it's super important to make sure that you are connecting with people that's about something. Um, you know, if you hang around people, <laughs> this guy named John Hope Bryan says, if you hang around nine broke people, you will be the 10th one. If you hang around nine really smart people, you're going to be the tenth one. So the people that you have in your network, the people that you build relationships with, they're going to determine a lot of your outcomes. So you need to develop relationships with people who can invest in you, that can coach you, that can cheer for you, and keep the haters out your circle. Keep, as the old saying goes, keep the squares out of your circle. you got to keep those haters out of your circle, man, because they'll really pull you down. Got you, got you. The last, the last education. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked about different levels of education. We talked about HBCU. We talked about uh, before your university. We talked about uh, community colleges. Mm -hmm. So, any words? When it seems that you were a college professor, yeah. any words uh, of advice for um, you know? Even for my fourteen years old, they got they still got four years to go. But uh, any words for them, and any words for my guys that I exit high school about? college uh, options man college can be some of the best times of your life going back to what you said about relationships you know the relationships with people that I have right now a lot of those relationships I built in college and I, gra I graduated high school in 1993 so I literally have relationships that go back over 25 years so right now you know I'm 45 and 45 you probably think I'm an old man at this point but at some point y'all gonna be 45 too and so the relationships that you build when you're coming out of high school, when you're going to college, they matter. You know, so I would say, you know, everybody's not going to go to college. That's cool. Nor should everybody go to college uh, because some people just need to go and start a business right out of high school. Some people might want to go to the military. Uh, it's a lot of different options that you have. And then some people might want to go to a two year college. So you might want to go to a Lawson or Jeff State or something like that and then maybe go on to a four-year college. So there's so many options right now. And then you got these boot camp programs like Innovate Birmingham or Ed Farm uh, is a, uh, an initiative by Apple. So it's a lot of different things that you can do outside, you know, after high school that can prepare you and set you up for life. Cool, cool, perfect, man. So again, I just try to let them know there's nothing wrong with being an entrepreneur. There's nothing wrong with going directly into work. Nothing wrong with it, but we got to do something. You got to do something. You can't chill at the house. You can't. You can't stay with mom and them. Staying with your cousin. Now, now, listen. You might have to do some of that. You know, you might have to stay with somebody, but you should be doing it to stack your bread. So I'm hoping that you know whatever you do after high school, 
you know what I mean, make really good decisions. Don't get in no debt if you if you can help it. Uh, try not to get into a whole bunch of credit card debt because that can really slow you down too. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Well, we appreciate that word, uh, Dr. Hood, and uh, we're wrapping up our, uh, well, we're wrapping up our first session of our summer interns. So uh, we come again in July and we do another three week session with our summer intern. We'll look back at the end of July to kind of drop the word on them. Cool. All right, man. Appreciate it.